Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. So as you can tell, we are into the Macross 7 uh, event with Remember 16 as the main song. But of course, we're not here to talk about the event itself, but the brand new gacha that belongs to Basara and of course the following one which belongs to Melane. We've already seen both Basara and Melane's uh, swimsuit costumes when they were shown in the SP broadcast of Uta Macross 2nd anniversary. Uh, if you guys have not watched that, it's actually on YouTube under the Uta Macross uh, official YouTube channel page. Not a channel, not page. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, so let's dive into the gacha, take a look at Basara's episode plate, and see whether his episode plate is at least a tier 2, or maybe it could be a tier 1. Alright, so here we go. Immediately, we see, oh, it's total score is 3609, even with that uh, plus 25 luck value. Um, definitely, if it's a tier 1, it needs to be at least uh, 3800 or more. Um, focusing on so and a bit of voice. Alright, so immediately we can tell Remember 16 is a song uh, focusing on soul itself. Alright, it has a center skill of S, that's not too bad, and unit soul is boosted by 90% up. So the, the center skill of this episode plate is a tier 1 value. Uh, sadly to say, the total score on the episode plate kind of pulls it down. So take note of the other three divas equipable with this episode plate. We've got Freya, we've got Makina, and of course Cheryl Gnome. Uh, pretty interesting that uh, Makina is here. I didn't expect Makina to have like the same fiery passion as Basara would. I can understand why Freya and Cheryl is there. Um, and of course, considering that they, they kind of rather the seiyus, or no, not, not seiyus, the voice singers for these characters kind of like hug it out on stage, uh, well, except for maybe Freya. It, it was actually Mikumo, or uh, basically we, we know her as Juna. <laughs> Juna, Mayen, and you know, Yoshiki kind of hugged it out during Macross Crossover Live. You guys, if you guys actually attended um, the Crossover Live, uh, back in the middle of the year. If not, you probably might have seen photos of the event itself. Alright, so active skill, 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. Where we are still waiting for the S rank skill uh, that actually boosts score with the active. Uh, wonder when Dana will actually release it, but I, I guess if they do, it might be close to the end of Uta Macross game life. So hey guys, uh, life skill, um, sadly B rank, so it's not meant to be used as a life skill episode plate. We have seen center position episode plates with S rank life skills as well, sadly to say this one isn't one of them. So definitely um, this plate falls into tier 2, uh, considering that its total score is still 3600, it still deserves a tier 2 position. It might have been worse, but yeah. So, uh, life skill, well, score up, it is a life skill high score purpose episode play, but because of the percentage, which is 20%, I wouldn't recommend it at all using it as a life skill support episode play. This is purely just for center position and of course, um, for specific songs that require the soul stat and of course, a blue element song. So right, let's see the last page, whether it comes with a special note attached to it. It might bump it up to maybe a tier 2.5, who knows. <laughs> uh, okay, so no notes attached to it, so that's kind of a bummer, so it stays within tier 2. And of course, uh, with that said, do you actually need to spend money on this episode plate? Well, not really, because if you guys have episode plates of the same element and maybe it has better overall total score compared to Basara's episode plate, you know, definitely you don't need to spend uh, your singing stones on this gacha. And of course, you can actually unlock Basara's costume if you work hard enough during this event. You know, unlock all those free event episode plates, get those costume points. Of course, getting Basara's episode plate is kind of like a bonus at the same time. So it actually allows you to unlock Basara's costume way faster. Um, but other than that, no, I don't really recommend pulling this gacha. So um, for myself, 
I don't really have enough singing stones. So I kind of want to keep 300 singing stones for Melane's upcoming gacha because Melane's costume can only be obtained through gacha pools unlike Basara's so therefore I'm I'm going to stick with um, a single 50 singing stone pool which is one episode played I don't know, maybe it might be a miracle pool because the last few episodes has been terrible in luck maybe this time round uh, Dana might bless me with a single godlike pool so here we guys uh, go uh, hopefully, we see something miraculous out of it. No loading bar. Okay, we can expect this gacha pool to be a flop straight away. So, yeah, not even a single Valkyrie. So, that's pretty disappointing. Anyway, guys, uh, hopefully, you guys have better luck at this. Even if you guys are pulling like I, I am single pools, because I kind of used up most of my singing stones for. Uh, well, the double gacha pool event, or the double episode plate gacha event, uh, which recently ended yesterday. You know, was it yesterday or was it two days ago? I can't really recall. Anyways, <laughs> it re recently ended. So, yeah, expect a video um, on that with all my double gacha pools from the start until now. So, yeah, and I'll see you guys. Uh, probably another two days time when Elaine's gacha appears unless you guys follow me for Pokemon Masters as well then I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Masters video <laughs> if not I guess I'll see you guys two days later for Elaine's gacha and as usual uh, like this video if you appreciate all the information I shared share the video to all your friends playing with Ham Cross subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and yeah see you soon bye